Okay, so I have reviewed every echo that exists in this game and I tried to find the best echoes that offer some sort of increased mobility, right? So uh, I split this into three groups, essentially first one uh, will be echoes that increase uh, ground mobility, so essentially running faster, dashing, all of that, right? Uh, second one will be air mobility, so uh, stuff that increases your air time or allows you to like dash a little further in air than you would be able by just jumping and gliding, right? And the third one is just sort of like a miscellaneous one when there's like two echoes that help you walk around, move around, uh, have some sort of other mobility sort of features, right? So I'm gonna start with the ground one. I've written two main ones. Uh, there are a few other ones that offer some sort of like a dash or a speed up, uh, but I mostly just wanted to focus on the best ones, right? So uh, first one uh, will be the second place when it comes to ground mobility, and this is sort of like an honorable mention. Uh, definitely not the best one, but that is uh, the stone wall base, all right? So this guy, uh, this... This echo will essentially charge the at the enemy, but you charge at a quite an increased speed, I would say like close to maybe 1.5 times faster than your running speed. It has like a 12 to 13 second cooldown. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely not bad, but it's definitely One not the, the fastest. However, if the element of this echo does match you, uh, it is a decent way to speed up a little bit, right? But by far by far the best mobility echo when it comes to ground travel is gonna be the uh what's his name inferno rider right so this guy there's a 20 second cooldown however when you use this echo and you have to actually hold uh the echo skill button you cannot release it he will transform into a motorbike and he will ride for like good five to six seconds you can see the distance it travels from that waypoint all the way to there in six seconds is quite impressive right so yeah when it comes to ground travel uh this guy is by far the best echo right now let's go to air travel okay now for air travel i uh, split this into three ranks right so one of them is more of like a miscellaneous very edge case right where this like, the movement from it is insanely OP, however, it only works in a few situations where you need, like, an immediate dash forward, and it does acquire quite a bit of setup, right? And that is the horror toys. Now, I know <laughs> this echo has been memed a lot even before the what game, the because, come on, that's epic. <laughs> but yeah, the way it works is... You can get a lot of mobility with him, however, it does require you to get hit by someone, right? Whether it's an Echo, any other enemy, or something like that, right? However, whenever you get hit, you will dash in the location where you were hit from insanely far. And the best part of that is while you are mid-air, you can continue with uh, jumping, dashing, using your zipline, all of that. Uh, to gain additional air momentum so let's say i wanted to fly in that direction right and i needed a little bit of a boost forward i could go into the echo i get hit from this side right it should work side please you go like that uh you fight fly quite a bit uh you combo it into a dash into a zip line right and you can get a lot of extra air then however this does require setup you for example if you needed to fly very far in that direction you will need to somehow like get an enemy closer to the edge stand in front of it uh looking at the direction you, you want to fly at and get hit by it right so yeah that's more of an edge case i'm gonna showcase two echoes that offer some sort of uh, mobility without uh getting hit and just simply improving your airtime right Okay, so when it comes to mobility, in second place, actually, is one of the best echoes for a Havoc-type rover, right? And that is the Dreamless. Do not mistake it for Crownless. I don't think Crownless offers the same. Uh, Dreamless is the one. And while it does not move you forward in any way, right? What it does is it will reset your dash right so you can do this and you can do a second dash while you will remain in place 
you do have that a little bit of extra airtime that you can offer by clicking for example on your keyboard the shift button oh those are dead monkeys i don't like you want to fight those <laughs> but yeah uh once you use the dash i'll showcase it again actually i won't use the dash right off the bat i'll do this and zipline right i use the dash here I use the echo and I use a second dash after the echo because it resets it mid-air. And now by far, by far the best mobility echo when it comes to increasing airtime is the Cyan Feathered Heron. Do not mistake it with the uh, purple one, the violet one, right? The violet one does not work, only the Cyan one works. So usually it's going to be good for something that you build aero or spectral damage for, right? But even if not, even if you need to get a little bit of extra airtime to collect maybe some of those like uh, Sonnen's cubes or whatever, uh, this is the one. So essentially, this echo, not only does it also reset the dash mid-air, it will actually dash forward quite a bit, right? So if we do a little fly up the dash, we actually fly forward and our dash has been reset. Also, it has, I believe, a lower cooldown than Dreamless, so you will actually be able to, especially in those long travels, will be able to use it multiple times, right? So, whenever that resets, whenever this resets, you also get the dash. You can see how much air time I have, and I'm actually gonna try to fly a little bit further and see how far I can go as long as that tornado doesn't catch me. Look at that, maybe it will reset before. No, unfortunately, unfortunately it didn't, but yeah, it reset. I don't want to die to that. But look at that. Look at that air time. Look where the teleportation point was, right? Look how fly we have uh, come from this one just by using the echo a little bit, right? Because you get a dash. The dash not only moves you forward a bit, it also gives you more air time, right? So go like that, like that. Look how high you are. You are so high. It actually takes like 10 seconds to reach the same height. When you started so yeah by far the best the best uh, echo for airtime mobility is the cyan feather uh heron okay and now lastly i'm gonna give sort of like honorable mentions for those mobility echoes that don't quite fit the category of increasing your airtime or ground travel time right but they do have some sort of uh use case for a mobility right so uh, first one is gonna be wait do i not have him i should have him ah no 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 it's a three cost it's a three cost this guy uh the order pop it it might not seem like he has any uh but again like i'm saying this is like very very edge cases right like very edge cases but let's say you need to jump like you need to land here and maybe like a centimeter uh further than that right so if you stand close to the edge uh, you can either use the echo this way and it will actually place those walls mid-air so you can uh, Well without using the hook right you can land on here unfortunately you cannot reset anything but you can for example land there and Slide forward a bit or slide to the side a bit wherever you need to go right or you can even go on 90 degrees to any side uh, Use the echo there and you'll actually because of the uh, way the echo like eyes things ice walls or whatever uh they go 90 degrees in the other direction right you will be able to make a little bit of distance that way so let's say you want to go there or more, more like diagonally right you place them there and you have a little bit of extra walking from let's say like right where you can just simply dash over through it but yeah uh this one again like very very honorable mention now the best uh, mobility echo when it comes to other uses like other cases is gonna be this guy the x -Crat. and this one this is probably by far the best echo when it comes to avoiding trouble right so whenever you're getting attacked uh you don't want to receive damage uh you can lose focus uh you simply dive to the ground not only will they not be able to hit you at all like you actually become invincible on top of that okay like can you stop chasing me <laughs> on top of that uh you will be able to move out of there right is he actually gonna chase me don't yeah you'll be able to move out of that you can only control it with your mouse of course but you're able to move out of trouble over those few seconds 
and because they see where you were a present the last time you were above the ground it's hard to formulate this sense <laughs> uh basically let's say i dive in here right enemy sees me the i go here they see me as if i was in that old location right and they're all focused on that location so not only do you get extra time to run away because they're all stuck there looking at where you last went underground right uh you are also gaining a lot of distance on them and you will be able to escape any trouble so if you're fighting a very difficult boss where you need to dodge a lot and you feel like you will not have enough stamina for all the dodges right you can just go yoink, you go underground you recover your stamina a bit and you're back up right <laughs> So yeah, these are the echoes I found that have some sort of like mobility. I also found one that actually order mines and farms materials for you. So you can check the previous video for that. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know any other echoes that you may use for mobility. I tried to test all of them, but it is possible that maybe I missed something, right? So yeah, do let me know. And yeah, peace.